option to run a supercomputer. We have like a we have network, we have cooling, we have uh, air moving through the facility. Uh, then we have just the scale of many nodes with many uh, processors on them. So all of these things have you know metrics associated with them and can potentially cause problems or could be optimized to be more energy efficient. I work at uh, Lawrence Berkeley National Lab in NERSC, which is the National Energy Research Scientific Computing F Center. Uh, temperature sensors um, inside the racks, uh, blower um, speeds, things like that. So it's, it's all this different data and a lot of it has a, a time dimension to it. So. Uh, it matters, like, you know, at one second versus the next second what, uh, what the values were. One area where we're able to use this data that we're collecting already is uh, in uh, the power that's going to be coming into the facility uh, for Perlmutter. So we're doing a number of upgrades to our building in order to support the, the larger machine. going to be three times the size of our current uh, fastest supercomputer, which is Cori. Our goal is to have this be applicable to other data centers. What I was passionate about is that there's so many different data sources and so many connections that are just sort of waiting to be made. 